Hey everybody, how you doing? AmpereparaGuy.com, 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Here we have another Ameritron AL811H amplifier. So, I'm going to go over it real quick. I have two other amps to work on today. I wanted to get at least something up on YouTube. So, he needed new tubes. Had 811s. They were totally shot. He didn't even bother sending them. I had him call... Penta Laboratories, he ordered them, had them drop shipped here. Great people there, great customer service. So he, had or he ordered a matched pair. I had to remove the whole assembly down here to get at the grid connections. I inspect everything. Two of the grid connections were loose. They have the grid connections, as I've shown in other videos, going to the screws and the sockets. So those screws were loose. So I ended up going directly to ground, drilled four holes. So this whole thing had to come out, shaft had, had to come out and all that. I'm not going to go over all that. But um, now it has direct to ground connections. Put it all back together. I also put in the gas caps. I was missing the gas caps. I put in two of them, one on each side of the filament to ground. This metal wall here, divider wall, next to the transformer was pushed over far. It's the way they built it, the core. It's touching the core, almost touching the core, but it was actually touching the tube, so I had to actually bend it a little bit. So then that's good. It has clearance between the tubes. The neutralization bar was in the wrong position. I've seen this one other time where the screws were in these two holes, so this was pushed that way, this, this part of it, and then these were bent back big time. So that's been rectified, fixed, Needed a new air variable. When I went to try it on 80 meters, this one was arcing. As you can see, it's damaged right there. And then on the other side, it's damaged like inside. Ah, there it is. You can see like right there. So, ordered one from Maritron. Good people, nice people there. Had to wait for it. It was out of stock. Got it today, got it done. So, a lot of work to get that air variable out, a lot of work to get this whole thing out, and then rectify that issue. He did not want the 10 meter mod done. It had the, had been converted to 240 at one point, and the person left the 12 amp fuses in. Big no-no. I ended up putting the proper 8 amp fuses in, so that's set. Tested. All bands, minus 10 meters, because it doesn't have the 10 meter mod done. He didn't want it done, so uh, produced 800 watts PEP. Clean the multimeter switch with the oxid gold. He hadn't been using it. It was in the up position so he could always monitor plate current. I always check it, checked it, it was dirty, so I cleaned it. Now it's good. And this thing's good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask about getting an amp fixed. Please call 203-892-4119 and my website's ampreparaguy.com. Have a great day.